Wow! I love watching Interview with the Vampire. It is one of the best horror films I have ever watched. This 1994 film stars Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Kirsten Dunst, and Antonio Banderas. Well then, it looks like I'm having a peaceful day at my house. Hey Shannon. Come downstairs please. There are some visitors who want to see you. Ugh. Okay Brittany. Hey. Who are these people? Shannon. Since our parents are at work, we invited our cousins over at our house. Not only that, your Aunt Joan and Uncle Matt have also come to our house. Wait. What the heck? Please present your cousins, aunt, and uncle. Hi. I'm your Aunt Joan. And I'm your Uncle Matt. We have eight children who want to present to you. Hello. I'm Michael. And I am your oldest cousin. I'm 25 years old, and I was born in 1997. I'm Philip. I'm 23 years old, and I was born in 1999. I'm Lisa. I'm 20 years old, and I was born in 2002. I'm Jessica. I'm 19 years old, and I was born in 2004. I'm Howard. I'm 18 years old, and I was born in 2005. I'm Reese. I'm 14 years old, and I was born in 2008. I'm Anthony. I'm 13 years old, and I was born in 2010. And I'm Catherine. By the way, I am your youngest cousin. I'm 6 years old, and I was born in 2016. See that? That's our Aunt Joan, Uncle Matt, and our cousins Michael, Philip, Lisa, Jessica, Howard, Reese, Anthony, and Catherine. You have 8 cousins in our family. That's right. You know that our little brother Jeffrey is 7 years old, and our little cousin Catherine is 6 years old. So, you better do whatever they want. I have to agree with my siblings. All right then. Just to let you all know, I will be going shopping at Woodfield Mall. So, I will not be available at this time. Now remember, we will be hanging out at Amanda's house. Just tell your aunt and uncle if you need anything. Do you remember that you need to do jobs during certain times? Make sure you behave, or you will be grounded. Understand? Okay then Brittany. I will behave this time. Excellent. We are going to Amanda's house with your cousins. Aunt Joan, Uncle Matt, Jeffrey, and Catherine. You guys stay in the house. Just let me know if anything goes wrong. Shannon, your cousins are hanging out with Amanda Montgomery's house. Wow! That's great news! Your little brother Jeffrey is playing with your little cousin outside. Just let us know if you need me. Hey William, Brittany, and Sammy. We have some new visitors at my house. Now, who are these people that you invited? Those are our cousins Michael, Philip, Lisa, Howard, Reese, and Anthony. Oh yes. We love watching Amanda's 1996 VHS of Golden Eye. I have to agree with Philip. This is one of our favorite James Bond movies. Your cousins told me that we're watching Golden Eye on VHS from 1996. We're going to watch that movie. And we have some snacks for all of you. But Shannon is at home with Aunt Joan and Uncle Matt. We must call them to get their important jobs to do. That's a great idea, Sammy. I will go over to Shannon's house so that I can watch her. Hey Shannon. We got you something to eat for lunch. Oh yes. I got a double cheeseburger with onion rings and a chocolate Oreo milkshake from Burger King. You can eat your lunch if you want. Your siblings are going to give you tasks to help your cousins. So guys. What do you think about GoldenEye? It was awesome. This is one of my favorite movies of 1995. Perhaps my favorite James Bond movie of all time. I know, right? Hey, maybe I should go ask Aunt John and Uncle Matt to see if Shannon can do any jobs. Great idea, sweetie. Hey. And Joan and Uncle Matt, William and Brittany told her sister Shannon that she will be having jobs. That sounds like a great idea, sweetie. Shannon, come here. I have something for you. 
Amanda, what do you want this time? Well, Shannon, you need to watch your little brother Jeffrey and your little cousin Catherine. William and Brittany told me that you need to do some work. No way. I don't want to watch my brother Jeffrey and my cousin Catherine. And besides, they are too childish. Please let me play Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Hey! Stop right now! You need to go outside to help Jeffrey and Catherine and that's final. That's what your aunt and uncle told me. And you better not do anything wrong, or you will be grounded. Let's go! We've got work to do! Whoa 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 whoa! Okay then! Okay. Your brother and cousin are in the backyard. Please don't disrespect your cousins, or you will be grounded. I understand. Good. Your aunt and uncle are going shopping at Walmart. Just ask them if you need anything. Hey Shannon. Guess what? Me and Jeffrey want something to do outside. What is it going to be? Shannon, we would like to play soccer. Oh no. I don't want to play soccer. Please let me go play Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Absolutely not. You're not playing Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare and that's final. Go grab a soccer ball right now. Shannon better not disrespect our cousins. Yeah. Because if she does, we will teach her a strong strict lesson and give her punishments. Alright. Now that I have the soccer ball, I will do something to one of my cousins. Wait. What are you going to do? Catherine, I will throw the soccer ball straight into your face. Hey. You don't ever disrespect your own cousins. We're a big family, remember? If you throw that soccer ball into Catherine's face, then you will be grounded. I agree with your sister. Stop it right now, or you will not get anything at all. Shut up all of you. No one cares about this childish crybaby. If you don't tell me what to do, then I will bully Catherine with that soccer ball. No. Don't do it. Or else you will be receiving punishments. That's right. You need to listen to your siblings and my brother. You can even play soccer with Jeffrey and Catherine, or you're not getting anything at all. How many times do we have to say this? You need to follow our rules. Young lady, listen to me right now. Play soccer with your little brother and your little cousin right now, or you will get absolutely nothing. That's it. Catherine, time to get hit by this soccer ball in the face. Oh my god. What happened Catherine, and why are you crying? Well Philly, you won't believe what just happened to me. My mean cousin Shannon just threw that soccer ball straight into my face. Hey, that evil cousin is so going to be grounded for this. Philip, please calm down Catherine while we deal with Shannon. Don't worry Catherine. We will punish our troublemaking cousin Shannon for what she has done. I know right. She is in big trouble because of this. We must tell mommy and daddy about what she has done. Oh crap. I am now in dead meat. Shannon. How dare you throw the soccer ball into your little cousin Catherine's face. You know that it is illegal to do. And plus, she could have been sent to the hospital because of you. You were supposed to play soccer with her and Jeffrey, but no, you broke your promise. Yeah. Did you realize that she could have lost her vision? Now she needs to have an ice pack on her face. That's it. We are calling our parents to ground you. No 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 please I'm so sorry this will never happen ever again Nope It's too late Your brother William is calling your parents to ground you
Ridley. That's my son William. He is calling me regarding his cousins. You're right. Let's see what Shannon did this time. Hello William. What is your problem? Please don't tell me that Shannon caused trouble this time. Hey mom. Today we were hanging out with our cousins, Amanda, Sammy, Aunt Joan, and Uncle Matt at our house. But somehow, Shannon did something to one of our cousins. What did she do this time? And which cousin was that? Well, you're going to be extremely mad once I say this. Our misbehaving sister Shannon just threw a soccer ball into Catherine's face in the backyard. What? Oh my god. She is so grounded because of this. And she will be getting punishments and a strong strict lesson at the house. We will tell your cousins, Amanda, Sammy, and Joan, and Uncle Matt to ground her in the living room. Shannon has really disrespected her cousins today. Thank you for telling me this. No problem. I will see you when you get home. Goodbye. Shannon has crossed the red line for disrespecting her cousins. She is an extremely bad girl. I know right. She's going to be in extremely big trouble when we get home. And we are telling Aunt Joan and Uncle Matt to deal with her. We're all going to give her punishments. Mom, Dad, William, Jeffrey, Amanda, Sammy, Michael, Philip, Lisa, Jessica, Howard, Reese, Anthony, Catherine, and Joan. And Uncle Matt are going to give you a lot of punishments for your bad behavior. And I called your parents to ground you. I will call Aunt Joan and Uncle Matt to ground Shannon. Let me call Jessica and report Shannon's bad behavior. How is Shannon doing? She's doing great. I hope she doesn't get into trouble. Well then, let's see if we can find some more things for the house. So, what do you think we should get? We should buy a few movies for the house. They have the 2019 reboot of The Lion King on DVD. That should be a great choice. Hey! That's my phone. I wonder who's calling me. It's probably one of Shannon's older siblings. I'll handle with this. And Joan and Uncle Matt. Look what Shannon just did to your little daughter Catherine. That's Shannon's older sister, Brittany. Hey, Brittany. What can I do for you? Well, you're going to be extremely mad once I say this. But my younger sister Shannon has bullied Catherine by throwing a soccer ball right into her face. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me this. That naughty brat is so going to be in big trouble when we get back. We will see you at your house. You're welcome. She is a bad young lady. We will deal with her right now. Goodbye. After all of that shopping, I should go play arcade games at Interion. From what I hear from Bradley, they have some really good pinball machines to play. That's my older brother Michael. I have to go talk to him. Hello? Hey Jessica. Our evil cousin Shannon did something bad to our little sister Catherine. What did Shannon do this time? She threw a soccer ball into Catherine's face. What? Oh my god. Thank you for telling me this. I will see you when I get home. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Shannon Ottawa. What the heck is wrong with you, young lady? I cannot believe you disrespected your cousins. You know that is very mean to someone else. You're not supposed to disrespect any person that you know. 
You were trying to behave while we gone, but it's already too late. You're very lucky that you got to eat Burger King for lunch, but you had bad behavior a few minutes later. Amanda told you to go outside to help Jeffrey and Catherine, but you decided to misbehave. They wanted to play soccer, but you threw the ball into Catherine's face. That is very mean to do. You could have seriously injured her. Not only that, but she could have a lot of problems as well. Catherine only got bruises from the impact. You could have gotten her a bloody nose and vision loss. She almost went blind because of you. Even worse, Catherine could have been hospitalized. You have been naughty over the past few weeks. You should be really ashamed of yourself, young lady. That's it. You are now grounded until Easter. Now it's time for a strong, strict lesson with your father, siblings, cousins, and Joan, and Uncle Matt. You need to write an apology letter to Catherine and say sorry about what you had done to her. Your family will be giving you spankings, belt beatings, nappies, lumpy potatoes, and other punishments. There will be no TV, no video games, no computer, no restaurants, no rated R and NC-17 movies, no junk food, no activities that you like, no amusement parks, no music, no vacations, no hanging out with your friends, no concerts, no family outings, and no other things. And you will be forced to watch baby shows like Barney and Friends, Teletubbies, The Adventures of Timmy the Tooth, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Dora the Explorer, Go Diego Go, Bear in the Big Blue House, Blue's Clues, Thomas and Friends, Bob the Builder, The Magic School Bus, Between the Lions, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Handy Manny, Sophia the First, Doc McStuffins, My Friends Tigger and Pooh, Super Y, Word Girl, Little Einsteins, Team Umi Zumi, Bubble Guppies, Ubi, Wonder Pets, Wow Wow Wubsy, PJ Masks, Oswald, Dinosaur Train, Arthur, and the Wiggles. And you will be playing educational video games from now on like the Leapfrog Leap Stern Sega Pico. We will also be taking away your computer until your grounding time expires. You will now be playing with Catherine's kids' toys from now on. You are also banned from making grounded videos out of innocent people, as well as fake VHS openings. When your family goes out, you will be staying in the house with a babysitter. You can stay with me, my brother Sammy, my parents, Bradley, numerous YouTube users, the Dayton family, the Bloomingdale family, your cousins Michael, Philip, Lisa, Jessica, Howard, Reese, Anthony, and Catherine, and Joan, Uncle Matt, Grandma Francis, and Grandpa Stephen. Not only that, but you'll be having Saturday schools, hundreds of homework pages, a list of many jobs to do, and home detentions. And I will be operating Camp Resistance. It's a year-round camp for children. And you get to go to my camp with Crystal, Kenward, Viley, Raven, and all of your troublemaking friends. That's right. My sister's camp is going to teach a lot of troublemakers like you. I will have to sign you up for my older daughter's camp if you won't stop misbehaving. And if you keep this up, we will call the police to arrest you. I have to agree with my mom. Now go upstairs to your room right now. Wow.